The world sucks right now in 2020, and I feel so grateful that I live in a year where consumer-grade virtual reality is a thing I can access, and I can use that virtual reality to escape the world that sucks so much right now. What's good, internet? My name is Attack Slug. This is Paper Beast exclusive on PlayStation VR. It is out right now. It is 30 bucks, as always, full disclosure. This game provided by the publisher. So what is Paper Beast? As you see here, I am in the simulation, but this is not a simulation. And what in the blue hell is this game? I'm going to hop into the very beginning and show you because it has a very stark intro to the game. Let's awaken within this Paper Beast simulation. This game is a super surreal adventure through a barren wasteland of sorts with some creatures. Let's unveil the world here. Let's tear these walls down break the walls down, tear the curtains asunder, and it is a welcome respite from a world that is, you know, gone mad, more or less, and we are here to experience this world. So, um, this isn't the actual beginning beginning, because there is a whole interlude with a big musical number that I'm going to skip, and this is how the game starts. I mean, you have kind of a very crazy thing with music to begin, and then you kind of end up here in this desert with these creatures made of paper. And so you're left wondering, all right, well, what just happened? Where am I? What is that? Why is it happening? Uh, this game does not hold your hand in terms of what you should be doing. It is very much a experience to have... It's a couple hours long, and it is, you know, like, all right, you're learning and interacting with this world and the creatures made of paper therein. There's not a lot in terms of, like, you can't die. It's just, you know, you're interacting with the world and progressing and solving puzzles and that kind of thing. So, very stark opening that I liked a whole lot. I'm just like, I don't know what's going on, and... I am all about playing and enjoying and exploring the unusual in video games, especially in VR. So when that happens, I'm like, yeah, man, I'm on board. I'm all about it. Like, I'll help you, bro, but I can't pick it up. It's too heavy. It's too heavy. And this dude is kind of a constant compatriot through a lot of it. And it's just like, what is... And a nang, and kind of all right, buddy. Yep. So now we can teleport. We can kind of all right, move around. Now I know a lot of the hardcore VR purists are going to say, "Man, I want locomotion. I want smooth turning, not this you know click turn stuff." But again, I think every game is set to its own pace and to its own needs. And there's, if there is one thing I know about VR and VR games. It is that they get patched with more options pretty often. So don't be surprised that there are more options that get patched in at a later date. But I love a couple things here. Number one, the binaural audio, right? So you're getting the full breadth of the audio in your ears in terms of positioning and, like, the animal sounds and, you know, whatever whatever else is... Hey, buddy. is really good. And just the animations on these creatures, I think, is just fantastic. It is very just evocative, and it is it, it really helps kind of put you in this world and make it feel more alive, as it were, as these creatures kind of do their thing, thang, and all right, yep, we've kind of done that and established that, yes, they do like the water. There is some kind of terrain deformation stuff in the game that I've seen so far, and that's pretty cool. And you kind of, you kind of, you know, kind of got to figure out what the hell's going on here, and what is happening in this world. And oh, hey, no, don't eat him! No, he's my friend. He's my friend. You leave him alone. You leave him alone. I'm gonna hold him up here 
Screw you, man. Not cool. Natural order of things. So yeah, there's that. But yes, he is a predator, and that is the prey. And part of it is puzzles, and part of it is just kind of poking around and seeing what the deal is in this world. And I like that a lot. So, VR and the adventure therein. Wanna eat this? Wanna eat this? No? You want it? I give it to you. There you go. Is a thing that I enjoy quite a bit. So let's jump ahead, because it's kind of goes on from here, and he'll walk in, and he'll move this thing here, and you'll progress. But let's quit here, because I have gotten through these stages. And we'll hop into the underground in World 2 here. So you can see there are chapters, and there are stages within those chapters. And this little thing here, this little... Uh, this thing, this deal here on Stage 4, there are... are Different things to find in each stage, little unlockable things. And yes, there is a sandbox mode, and so you unlock more parts for the sandbox by finding them in the stages. But let's head into the sand pit here, which is the end of chapter two. I'm not sure the exact number of stages. I do know that it is be between three and four hours ish long. So there's a whole chapter spent underground, right? And a lot of it is just, all right, where am I? I gotta go that way. And the, 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 the solution here is putting this sand over here so you can climb, and that guy runs away. But besides that, it's the fact that you're here on this mountain, and you can got these little spider things, crab things, whatever they are, right? And being able to kind of just futz around with the world is really kind of cool. Just messing with whatever this ecosystem is, feeding these little guys that want to eat this little plant thing, and you can kind of take these plants and replant them up at the top of this hill here. You don't need to. Like, it's not essential. You don't have to. But you can. And being able to mess around with what you can do and see how things change within the environment, I think, is a very cool thing, and I've been enjoying it. Especially as an escape from the real world right now, it has proven to be quite enjoyable. But this, the actual solution here is to just kind of chill and put these pieces of sand here on this. So c controls wise, it's teleport, it's grab, and it's kind of in and out when you grab. But there's no real threat here. There, there's, there's, there's no real like shooting things. Uh, it is very much in explore the environment type business, and I like that a lot, man. I could really use that right now. But, yeah, the red means, hey, you can't go here, because you haven't gotten enough sand to climb this climb this thing yet, so we're not, we're not there yet, so give me the sand. Make it rain. You can get up here. Which leads us to chapter, hey buddy, chapter three. So, this whole section, he meets his reflection, and it's you know, again, a lot of bizarre things happening in this game, and I love weird games, especially now when the real world is, you know, kind of tumbling down into whatever it's tumbling down into. So giving me something that is just absolutely out of left field that I can immerse myself in right now is kind of essential for keeping my brain from just completely losing it. So yeah, that this whole thing happens. We're going to skip this and head into chapter 3 here. Um, because I think the opening of chapter 3 is really good. You escape the cave, right? And you come out here into kind of oblivion. And it's again, it's poking around. This dude seems dead, man. But we know from that first chapter that they like water. And there is some water right here. That dude's not gonna make it. There's not enough water for his giant size, so we can resurrect our buddy here. So you know what? Get in the water. Drink it up, buddy. Drink it up. And that brings him back to life. And he is good to go, right? Good to go. But there are more of them over there. This guy's not gonna make it. And so he'll cause this tree to grow a little bit. And again, it's just, it's, it's it's poking around, it's exploring, it's seeing what does what, and it is an adventure to be had 
for sure. Buddy, you gonna make it? You gonna be okay? There's no more water here, bro. It's drying up. What is happening? How you feeling? How you living? Not too great, clearly. But you're made of paper, so I think you'll be okay. Don't worry. <sighs> yeah, that's not... That's not great. That's a little sad. Alright. But don't worry. It's a video game. We'll solve this. Don't you worry. So he does that. This blooms. You pull that, and oh my god, this is not a simulation. What is happening? Right? So you head over here in this, and you go, oh, what's down there? Right? The curtain from the opening, the tape, and the song from the opening. And it plays more of that, and you go, alright, well, let's grab this, and then what is happening? So, if you were too young to remember, music used to be on tape like this. And it could get messed up in a cassette tape type or a reel-to-reel -reel, as this is right here. So, I'm old enough to know what that was. And now look! It's a creature! And it's gonna walk around. And we're gonna have some fun with this thing. And again, the audio being positional is really cool. Um, but here's this guy here. And just, you know, cool VR stuff. And I'm all about having more cool... Hey, 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 look close, look close. Relax. Relax, buddy. Come on, follow me. We got things to do. We got places to be. So you come back around to where you were, and oh, look, you're back here, right? But now, but now, he's still done. He's over there doing his thing. There is this plant. You pull this plant, and look at that. There's some water. All right, so the puzzle here is get, get this water over to that guy. And how would you do that um, with what is currently in place? So, he's gonna kind of do his thing here. I told you there were guys over here that you find. And, oh, man, you guys too. You need you need some water. You need some, you need a little bit of that agua. A little bit of that H2O to get yourself back to full health. So I help you and your friends. That's not a problem. Do some of that. Put you over there. Get you over here. Put you over there. That happens. So they're all kind of come here to this tree and make it grow. That's part of this puzzle. It's making it grow. But that's not the end of what's going on in this stage. So this guy here. Oh, look at our friend from before. So a black poodle and a white poodle. And they're going to come down here and join us uh, shortly. So some of this game is just kind of watching things happen and kind of waiting for the next step in the s simulation to play out. So they kind of remind me of the um, dark crystal creatures a little bit with the weird little heads. Um, so that's kind of cool. But this is going to play out here where they get in a little bit of, bit of fight Right? And got guys, don't... Don't fight. Don't fight! Don't fight. And yeah, they fight over this thing here. Right? What's important is I can take that. It's mine now. No, it's mine now! It's mine now. Right? And this dude here will totally follow. Right? He will follow. Come on. Come on, boy. Come on. Come on. Over here. I kind of put this out here and shake it around, he will definitely come get it, right? And that's important because he is dragging a trail behind him and making the sand go down. And making the sand go down is super important if you're trying to make the water go towards... Oh, going too far out. The water go towards... See that? He's deforming the terrain here. So that's very important because our goal is to get him here to the big gap. Definitely takes a little bit of finagling to make that happen. So he's kind of dragging and deforming this terrain. And there we go. 
<laughs> We've gotten the water to our bro, and he is now back up in action, and all kinds of things are happening here in this game. He's gonna go get a drink, uh, and then eventually you get into like a hot air balloon situation, but again, you get the idea, right? This is Paper Beast out now on PSVR. I think it is a weird, wild, surreal, and wonderful world to inhabit while the real world kind of is on fire all around us. So, I'm a tax like this is out now. 30 bucks, PSVR exclusive. I'll see you next time, right here, on this channel, and I'm out.